Hey y'all, Irix Guy here, back again with another DJI Neo video. And uh, I'm going to respond to a question from a viewer in regards to the DJI Neo. So let me pop out my cellular device out of my pocket here. And let's read this. So this is from a viewer by the name of the Drone Dad. And I quote the Drone Dad. The Drone Dad says, I just bought the Neo for fun. I was hesitant but YouTubers make it seem it has pretty good AI tracking. I'm nervous enough flying it without any controls using the modes on the top of the drone, but also I'm nervous flying it with just the app where I don't think it has RTH, which is return, for home, return to home. As far as I've seen, RTH is only available if you're using a DJI controller. I know most people specifically bought it so they don't need a controller, but for me, I'll be pairing it with my Mini 2 controller so I have the ability to get it home just in case. Thanks for the video. Well, the Drone Dad, thank you for the comment. And Big Bird, Big Crow, man, did y'all see that on the video? Here at the Appalachian Ocean, it's just flying around. It's like, I hear a drone. The drone's not even on right now. But that is an excellent point and something that people should be aware of. Now, controller is important because if you're dependent upon return to home, using the phone itself, and I use the iPhone, but using only the phone, I don't think the return to home works. And to illustrate that in a situation where I am, this is a, this is a real world example of why using only the phone for DJI Neo may not be a good thing to do. I'm up here on this deck here at the Appalachian Ocean and I've got forest down there. There's a bunch of rattlesnakes. There's George Cooney, the raccoon and crew. I got about 12 raccoons. I've got wildcats. I've got cougars. I've got bears and possibly even a Sasquatch. So when I take this thing and I fly it using my controller only, the DJI Fly app, and I go straight out, well, if I'm standing at the end of the deck and it goes too far and I lose signal, this would not return to home, at least with the current uh, software and firmware, unless I was using a controller. So in that situation, I would have to repel off of this deck. I would have to brave all the wildlife down there that would be chasing after me. It's like, man, we want the drone. So I'd have to fight... Uh, is George Cooney the raccoon and crew? Possibly a Yeti? Possibly a cougar? A big bear? Whatever's down there. So, yes, it would be wise to use a controller instead of just using a smartphone to fly DJI Neo. I never assume that RTH, Return to Home, would work, and that's been the case with all my drones from the DJI Phantom series through present, but it is nice to have, especially if, uh, I mean, obviously, always fly a line of sight to be safe and responsible. I am the drone evangelist, and, and just as a quick reminder, don't just practice drone safety, preach drone safety, because if we don't all behave as fellow drone evangelists, this hobby could cease to exist, and that would be catastrophic so with that being said I what you're saying yes flying with a controller would always be preferred the intelligent flight modes and, and I'll tell you my opinion uh, the quick shot modes built in with this button here subscribe check out my separate video everybody to see those DJI Neo quick shot modes in action but actually I've established a high degree of confidence using those but when I use them I don't use the max in the, in the situation of follow me, for example, which is one of the quick shot modes that can be performed without a controller, I just use a very close distance. So for me to the Neo, it's probably, I don't know, 10 feet or so. So it's a close follow. And that's good because if I'm in the wilderness and I've got trees and, you know, it's easy to, to get that follow me shot without, uh, without having a drone, you know, too high up or too far out so that it could uh, collide with objects. Because obviously DJI Neo does not have, at least this iteration, the first DJI Neo, 
it does not have obstacle avoidance so that's something to be aware of but i uh, really appreciate your uh your your comment very awesome uh feedback there and and yes definitely flying the dji neo with the controller if you expect to have return to home that's what needs to be done because in my case like i said you know here at the here at the Appalachian Ocean, I mean, I could go down there and I mean, even if those animals didn't attack me, I mean, I could have, you know, a bunch of rattlesnakes bite me and then maybe I wouldn't make it out with my Neo, you know, <laughs> the Neo and, and I would be in the uh, wilderness down there forever. So it's using that controller is smart. So great, uh, great comment. Everybody out there watching this, if you're shopping for the Neo like I use, the case, the other accessories, expand this video's description and then click the links there to find where to order it online. Very fun drone. Um, however you fly it, fly it without a controller using the flight, the quick shot modes, fly it using a smartphone, fly it using a controller. But again, awesome question. Keep those questions and comments coming and I'll try to continue to post video responses. And be sure to subscribe, ring that bell, check out my DJI Neo videos playlist, and check out my videos all the way back to Phantom 1. I've got thousands of drone videos now, and thousands more coming soon. Thanks for your viewership, and y'all have a good day. Hey y'all, I Rick Sky here. I hope you enjoyed this video, and please be sure to subscribe to my channel, and when you do, ring that bell icon to be notified whenever I post another video. Thanks for your viewership and y'all have a good day.